Okay, little DIY project, conversion of my Skims Macro LG reactor to an LG scrubber. Um, trying to get some Kato, always seem to have a problem, always worried about it being dirty or pests, bubble algae, aptasia, things like that. And uh, other places that sell it clean have let me down so many times that I started this before and I'm just gonna go forward with it now and see if uh, we can make it work. So what we have is a Skims LG reactor. This uh, full and up and running is supposed to be able to handle two cubes of mysis a day. And that's how they kind of rate it. So this along with my skimmer, six liters of Seachem matrix. Uh, hopefully this will be able to take care of uh, the nutrients in my tank and I can back off of carbon dosing. So what I'm doing here is I took some extra screen top mesh that I used to make a lid. I cut it into sections, roughed it up really good with sandpaper, like they tell you to do if you're getting an algae scrubber, a rough surface for hair algae to adhere to. And then I fastened it to what you would typically fasten your Kato to using uh, these kind of clips. You tie the Kato onto the upper level and the lower level and put it inside the reactor. I'm not making it all fit, I'm just doing it for show here. Put your light in and run it on a schedule like you would any scrubber or reactor or refugium and it grows in there and then you empty it out and harvest it but i am not going to do macro algae i'm going to try to see if i can get green hair algae like a scrubber to grow so i've taken the net cut it up to the right size to fit in here i fastened it using the fasteners that you would typically use to fasten the Kato. Basically took the strip, pull it up, made it round, and to hold it together, I used a standard little zip tie. Gotta make sure it has a nylon fastener inside and not a metal one. And basically, I just sewed it together with that to hold it in place. Uh, then when it comes time to hopefully harvest algae, I just undo these, pull out the zip tie, and I have an open screen then again that I can just scrape off the excess algae. So we're gonna put this all together, drop it in the tank, run the lights on maybe a 12 hour schedule with a low flow on the pump, which has electronic control, which is nice and try and scrape a little Helgi off my return nozzles. Try and rub it in, maybe get some stuck in some of the roughed up surfaces like they uh, tell you to do with algae scrubbers, maybe to get it seated, get it started, and see how this works. So it'll be online sometime today, see how long it takes to grow anything. Thanks.